So if you have any questions during the training, please stop me, whether it's about the products or about the way that I'm, I'm talking about them. Um, if you have questions about you know, how you could um, introduce something to a customer or a representative, just stop me and we will talk about it. Okay. Um, so this is the new products launching from campaign 14 to 16. So my name is Samantha. I'm one of the field sales trainers. So thank you for joining today. We also have some of our lovely uh, representatives and of course, um, these are who you can go to if you have any questions about any of the products throughout the training. Okay. So let's start by looking at our agenda for today. So we're going to start in campaign 14 with the relaunch of Avon Senses. Very exciting. In campaign 15, we're launching our new brow product, which is a pomade. We're also launching Birthday Bomb, the hemp seed oil shower shake and soap bar and the Velvet Natural Spa Collection. Lastly, we're finishing off with a new fragrance, Cake by Fruits and Passions. And then in campaign 16, we're launching our new kids line. We're also launching a Love at First Lash waterproof mascara. I know that is in high demand, especially with the summer coming up. And we have a new line of cushions. Uh, so the Colors of Love Kiss Me Cushion. We have a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. And lastly, we have our new men's line, Gentology for Men. So starting out in campaign 14 with the launch of Avon Senses. Now, I'm sure some of you are traditional Avon Senses fans. Um, and what we're doing is keeping the shower gel hooks and the hand soaps um, in the traditional sense. Um, but we have taken the body lotions and body sprays and we've replaced them with new 2.0 versions that you are absolutely going to love. Now we've been listening to feedback and based on that, we've decided to update the senses line in two different ways. So the first one is for more fragrance. So they're not concentrated like a perfume, um, but they are definitely way more concentrated than uh, the ones we currently have. So in terms of the body mist and shower gel, they're going to be 33% more fragrant. And in terms of the body cream, 300% more fragrant. So you're not only getting the benefits of skincare, but also that, that light scent that's going to stick throughout the day. And of course, we're also updating the signature scents to modernize them more and uh, keep up with, uh, with your demand. Secondly, we've opted in for more luxurious formulas. So we're adding in extra skincare benefits uh, like aloe in the body sprays um, to give you more of a soothing and softening effect. So you're getting more out of the products that you already love. Now who's excited to see these scents? You'll have to let me know in the comments which one you're most excited to use. So the first one, is the Sparkling Grapefruit and Orange Blossom Collection. So this one is very fresh, it's very playful and fruity, and it has a lot of energizing notes, like Sparkling Grapefruit, like Orange Blossom. And it also has some more uh, delicate notes, like Honeysuckle and Luscious Peach. So it really is well-balanced, but definitely more for, um, for people who want, you know, just re-energize themselves in the morning or throughout the day. The second scent that we're launching is the Fresh Bergamot and Wild Mint. Now, this is definitely a clean scent. So it has a very crisp fragrance. It has some notes with musk and floral. Um, and if you have, you know, if you are, um, if you are a customer who, who really likes those, those light, fresh scents, like the smell of air in the spring or laundry hanging outside, uh, then this is definitely the scent for you. And lastly, my personal favorite, we have the Cozy Vanilla and Coconut Collection. And this is taking our current Vanilla Senses line to the next level by infusing it with that bold coconut and that calming uh, chamomile. The lotion really does have a nice whip texture, so it leaves your skin feeling really nice and soft. Um, and definitely it is a warming scent that will be lovely during the winter and the holidays, um, but because of that coconut, it is still very wearable, wearable um, in the spring and summertime as well. 
So let me know, which sense are you most excited for? I want to see your comments. <laughs> the coconut. <laughs> yeah. The coconut. And what's fun about the body mists is you can really play around with them. So because they're not a perfume, right, they're not as much as of a commitment per se. So you can have all different types of scents, one during the day, one at night, or on different days, depending on your mood. Um, and a little trick um, that you can speak with your representative about is layering them. So if you want the scent to last even longer, when you come out of the shower and you, you use the shower gel, you come out of the shower, you apply the body cream, and then right away while it's still damp, ap apply your body spray. And layering of the same scent will help it last longer throughout the day. And of course, you'll get the, the best uh, skin benefits of all the products. Um, okay, lots of coconut. <laughs> I guess uh, coconut might be selling out quickly. <laughs> Any questions on the senses line? Okay, Jody says, post idea, asking in a poll, what is your favorite scent or what do you prefer, a citrus clean or warm scent in your lotions? And then they can answer, you share product images. Yeah, it's a great idea, a really good conversation starter for sure. Yeah. No questions about senses? Okay. Um, so just a side note, as you can see, I didn't go in too much detail, right? I just gave enough information to kind of get them thinking about it and then they can come to you as their representative for more information on it. Okay. So the next product launching in campaign 15 is the Face Shop Brow Pomade. And this is another new addition to our brow range. So uh, as you might know, in campaign um, 13, uh, we came out with two products, the new tattoo liner and the highbrow gel as well. So now we have the pomade to add to the collection. Now, pomades, I know they could look a little scary, um, but they, these are actually one of the most interesting brow products on the market. They are very versatile. You can create many different looks with it, whether it's uh, you know a, a bushy uh, brow look, um, if you need to fill in a lot of gaps or create a lot of hair strokes, or if you want a super defined, bold brow, you can create that as well. So you can really go from very natural to, um, to more um, defined. Uh, Brenda says she has no sound. Can everyone else hear me? Oh, you have sound. Um, okay, Brenda, let me see. Okay, I see, oh, I hear you. I see your microphone. Um, Brenda, at the top, oh, it says you're offline. Hmm. You're signed in on three different devices, it looks. Um, if you look at the top where it shows the microphone and the speakers, oh, now you have sound. Okay, perfect. There you go. Um, so again, the, the brow pomade is a very versatile type of product, and I do highly suggest speaking with your representative to see if this can be a, a good addition into your collection. Some of the key points here is that it's oil resistant. So throughout the day, as you're sweating, as your makeup is, you know, is settling into your, into your skin, um, your, your face is producing a little bit more oil in the afternoon, uh, it will not disturb the brow product. So it is very long lasting, it's waterproof, it will stay in place all day. Um, and secondly, it does apply very smoothly. So it comes with that dual ended brush that you see in the image. So you have the spoolie on one side to brush through the brows, make sure all the product is distributed evenly. And then you have the angled brush to apply it. So it will apply it very, very creamy and very user friendly, but it will dry as a matte finish. Um, so it will blend in more to a natural brow and again, help to control that oil. It is super highly pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. You really just need the tiniest amount of product for your whole brow. So this pomade will last you quite a long time if you're using it on a daily basis, uh, as long as you ensure that it is closed all the way. It does come in six different shades. Um, so again, your representative can help you find the, the best one for you. 
And usually when you're choosing a pomade, because they are so uh, pigmented in color, you want to go with a shade that is one or two lighter than your, your natural brow. If you choose one that matches your brow um, exactly, then it will have a little bit more of a, a bold look to it. So it just depends again what you're going for. Uh, but if you do want that really natural effect, choosing one or two shades lighter uh, would be uh, my suggestion. Any questions on the brow pomade? Okay, Jody's going on with some post ideas for you. I'll read them out in case anyone doesn't have comments. Um, so post idea for your customer group. Tell us your brow experience. Everyone has a story they regretted for their brows. Um, could hear some funny stories. This could also be a great feedback party idea, uh, Facebook live party idea, 24 hour brow zing party. Love that. Yeah. And that's also a great conversation starter uh, again to, you know, to see what their brows, uh, what their brow condition is. And then you can kind of get a sense of what products would best benefit them. Um, so like the, the brow training that we're doing, attend it and then create that training for your customers in a live like uh, Joey suggested. Love that idea. Any other questions about the pomade? Uh, again, you can see I'm not spending too much time on each product, just giving enough information to get the customer interested. Um, so I'll just backtrack for a second. Um, so we spoke about here, um, you know, what the product is, the features of the product. Um, we spoke about the benefits of the product. Without breaking it down in those three sections, they're still getting all of that information. So while we were talking about it, you know, in their head, they might be thinking, you know, oh, I, I don't take care of my brows. Maybe I should start doing that. Or I'm using a pencil, but I, I don't find it very, um, you know, I don't love it. I don't love the pencil I'm using. So maybe I should look into a pomade or maybe it will just make them curious and come to you and ask them more questions. So that's kind of what this is trying to do, spark their curiosity and give them enough information to get them excited about it. Okay. So next up we have birthday bomb. Now, Birthday Bomb is really putting a play on the term birthday suit. So we are launching these lip balms uh, that are really to boost your natural lip color and also, of course, have that, um, those additional skincare benefits to them. So we want to ensure that you're getting the most out of your products. Now, this Birthday Bomb collection really fits into that whole natural, no makeup makeup trend. And this is such a big trend that's been going on for, I would say, the past two years on social media. And um, fun fact, it actually does take even more time and effort to create a makeup look that fits into that natural makeup trend than to create, um, you know, a full-on dramatic look. Um, but, you know, with, with that said, um, many, many people are looking these days for products that can give them that polished put together look without going overboard especially now you know some of you might be working at home um, and doing more things virtually um, so even if you're on on a webcam as opposed to in an office you still want to look put together so a great easy place to start with that is your lips now these have an upgraded formula compared to any other um, lip balm um, that, that we've seen. So we're really having that dual investment of a product where you're taking care of your lips, um, but also having that, that sheer tint that will really enhance your natural beauty. So it feels very buttery, very moisturizing. Um, it has a little bit of a glossy formula. Some of the key ingredients we see here are shea butter, um, which is very nourishing. Um, antioxidants, which help to protect your lips from environmental damage. Um, and we do have six different shades. So these shades can be used alone. We have a perfect match for every skin tone, or you can also combine them as well if you want to customize your own personal look. They are also are retractable, so that is always um, a fun addition for a lipstick. 
you know, you can reapply it throughout the day. You don't necessarily need a mirror. It's just very easy to use. Um, so we're also seeing a big continued push for more natural makeup products, products that are free of many additives. So this product is free of mineral oil, parabens, phthalates, gluten. So if someone has a gluten intolerant, um, you know, great, great bonus for you. Um, parabens and phthalates, mineral oil, those are all used as um, additives and preservatives in products uh, to, to influence the texture, to make it last longer. So we've decided to, to keep it out so it is more um, beneficial to, uh, to your health. Okay. So here we can see all of the shades that we're launching. Again, one to match every skin tone, um, or you can just customize it depending on what you like. How do we feel about the visuals for this line? Super eye-catching. Oh, I'm, I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm not, I wouldn't say that to customers. I'm just asking everyone here. I'm curious on your feedback on that. I love all the imagery for this line. I don't know if any of you have started sharing it yet, but I'm sure it will really draw in um, customers. It does look yummy. <laughs> Um, customer group idea, birthday draw. For those who like, comment, share, get put into a draw, how can you tie into birthday? Yeah, that's a good idea too, Jody. Yeah. And it, it might be, you know, maybe something playing off of the, the names of the products as well. I, I find they're funny, the names. Maybe doing something with that. And PYT stands for Pretty Young Thing, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Just in case anyone here is wondering. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of ideas, a lot of uh, different types of uh, creative posting that could be done um, with this collection for sure. Yeah. But even going back to your idea, Jody, you can have customers, you know, tag in their friends or family if they have a birthday. Like when you put up a post, if it's in June, then you know, say everyone who, um, who has a friend or family member um, who has a birthday in June, tag them. So all those people being tagged are new potential customers who are seeing your post. So maybe something like that as well. Yeah, there's lots of ideas. No, these are not matte. Um, they do have a little bit of a glossy uh, finish. Um, actually, on the next slide, we can see it. So a little bit like that. Okay, it's not too shiny, um, but it definitely is very buttery looking. So to take it one step further, and this is a trick that I absolutely love and I always do with natural lip products, is I pair it with a lip liner. So if you just use a liner to, to draw outside your lips just a, a smidge, or even just on the top near the cupid's bow, um, and then put your natural um, birthday balm on top. You won't see the lip liner, but it will really give you that appearance of full, fuller lips. So again, going with that no makeup makeup trend. And of course, we do have glimmer stick lip liners that perfectly match all of the, the shades uh, from birthday balm. So again, speak with your representative and they can help you find the, the perfect match for your choice. Okay. Any other questions for Birthday Bomb? Um, and again, I keep referencing back to the representative because I want the customers to know that that's their expert, that's who they can go to so that it does start that, help you to start that conversation with them. Okay, so next up in campaign 15, we have the hemp seed oil shower, shake, and soap bar. And uh, I know Jody said she was very excited about this launch, so am I. I'm sure some of you will be as well. So these are really products for those of you who are seeking to upgrade your, your routine a little bit 
turn your shower into a spa-like experience. And this is a line of, um, as part of our veilment collection. And we are using here the benefits of hemp seed oil. Hemp seed oil is extremely nourishing for the skin. Um, and it's also non-comedogenic, which means it does not clog your pores. So whether someone has acne prone skin, even on their body or any type of irritation, um, you know, often gets irritated on their body, on their skin, then this will really help to soothe it and nourish it. So the shower shake, um, as the name states, comes with two different layers in it, as we can see in the image on the right. So you have that hemp seed oil and the gentle cleanser. So you do have to shake it really well to combine both layers. When you use it in the shower, and this does replace a, a, body, um, a body cleanser, a shower gel, um, but it does turn into a milky formula. So it's not like a shower gel that's going to foam up. Um, it's again, more like that spa experience that's just going to be very gentle and softening and nourishing on the skin. So some of our, uh, the top claims about this, this product is that it will cleanse gently. So again, if you have more um, irritated skin, sensitive skin, this is a great product to, to try out. It does have a high percentage of natural ingredients. Um, and just like Birthday Bomb, we left out a lot of those additives, um, such as sulfates, which usually create that, that bubbling, uh, foaming effect of a cleanser, but they can also often irritate more sensitive skin. So we don't have any of those in this product. It is dermatologically tested and hypoallergenic as well. And then to go with this collection, we're giving different options. So we do also have a soap bar. So you have the same benefits of the hemp seed oil, just a different format. So this is non-stripping. And what non-stripping means typically is there's no sulfates in it. So when you're using a soap that leaves your skin feeling tight, that's because it stripped your skin of all the essential oils, essential water. And it, like, like it says, it, it strips your skin. Um, so because of the hemp seed oil, it does help to continuously nourish while you are cleansing. It also is eco-friendly, vegan, and comes in recyclable packaging. Um, and Jody says, reach out and create excitement to customers who purchased the cannabis sativa facial oil. Yes, definitely. Yeah, and th this product is definitely for someone who is looking for, you know, someone who does have more of a philosophy that's more along the lines of natural products, eco-friendly products. And, and so just like the cannabis sativa oil, that will speak to them. And um, just so everyone here knows, the cannabis sativa oil and the, these two products as well do not have any THC or CBD in them. So THC is the drug found in the marijuana plant, not in the hemp plant. And CBD is the, the calming uh, properties, um, often in different types of medications. Um, and that is found in both the cannabis plant the marijuana plant, sorry, and the hemp plant, but not in the hemp seed. Okay, so because the, the only ingredients here and the cannabis sativa oil are from the hemp seed oil, there's no CBD or THC in it. And just like the, uh, the facial oil, these do have more of that natural earthy scent. Um, so some of the benefits to this product are the fact that it contains 100% pure hemp seed oil. Uh, it really nourishes, you don't feel dry. Uh, you don't feel like all of, um, you know, all of your moisture has been sucked out. And it does have more of that clean formula without parabens, without sulfates, phthalates, and other um, harmful ingredients that could uh, be problematic to more sensitive skin. Um, so just different options um, to speak to uh, different types of customers here. And a way that you can also um, talk about that these two products are 
you know, the soap bar is great to have in your shower to use on an everyday basis. And then the days where you want to pamper yourself a little bit more, have a little bit of extra time to get ready, then you can go with the shower shake. So you can always kind of um, introduce both, both of them to customers to use in different ways. Yeah, also very suitable for men. Any questions about the hemp seed oil products? So continuing with the Velmint collection, we have two new additions um, in our two-in-one body scrubs. Um, so these you might have seen in past campaigns in different scents. So we're coming out with two new scents. Now these, like I said, they're two-in-one. So you have the cleanser and you have the exfoliant. And these are gentle enough to use on an everyday basis on your body. So it could replace a shower gel. Now exfoliation is so important and I, I'm sure your representative can tell you more about that. Um, but when you exfoliate your face and your body, it really gets rid of all those dead skin cells, um, which not only make your skin more appear more, more bright and radiant, um, but also help your, your skin to better absorb any products that you layer on top. So when you're putting on your body cream or when you're putting on a face cream, if your skin is freshly exfoliated, it will really grab onto those ingredients and make them more effective. So again, you're getting more out of your, your products that you're investing in. So here we have two different options. We have the Dead Sea Mud and the Bamboo Charcoal. So they both exfoliate without any harsh ingredients. And some of you might be familiar with the benefits of, um, of Dead Sea Mud. Um, so it really is made to kind of get rid of your toxins and also um, help to nourish you. And in North America, um, getting products from, um, from the, the Dead Sea, from Israel, is usually quite, quite expensive to get your hands on. Um, so it's absolutely exciting and amazing that um, at Avon uh, we have these options. Um, I see a question, Jen. Okay, for a facial scrub too, Sam, while people are showering. Um, so this one is not to use on the face. Okay, this one is just for the body. But I just want to bring it up that exfoliation for the face and the body are both really crucial. Okay, so here we're talking about a body scrub, but that will also bring it into their head you know, oh, do I use a facial exfoliant? And if not, then they will come and probably ask you about it. Okay. Um, Jody says, analogy I heard once was if you don't exfoliate, it's like watering a cement flower. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. You know, just, just think of all of that dead, those dead skin cells and little particles that are sitting on your skin. And we don't usually see them, um, but what we do see is that we, our, our skin starts to produce a lot of excess oil. So we get a lot of oil buildup um, on the surface. That's typically how you know when it is time uh, to exfoliate. Um, yeah, so the warming peel would be fantastic for the face, yeah. Um, the, um, the vitamin C warming peel, yes. Um, we also have um, some from the clear skin line if someone does have more acne, oily prone skin. Um, we also have chemical exfoliants like the uh, the a new clinical um, resurfacing fluid, or the the salicylic uh, no the glycolic acid pads. So there are different options whether they want to do it physically or chemically. Um, but um, yes, and it just shows whenever you're you're speaking with a customer about a certain product, think about what else you could be introducing to them. Right. So here we're talking about body exfoliants. So bring up a facial exfoliant or bring up a body cream to follow up with this afterwards. So always try to give them a routine that will at least if, you know, even if they don't purchase multiple items right away, it plants the seed in their head so that they're thinking about it. Continuing with our Veil Mint collection. Now this is a very exciting launch 
This is a new technology that we don't even see on the market yet. Um, and if you're not familiar with K-beauty trends, uh, they, do from, they do come from Korea. Um, and um, in, in Korean and Japanese philosophy, um, they really do prioritize the health of their skin. They believe that healthy skin is happy skin. So that's why we often see a lot of, a lot of very uh, innovative skincare technologies and ingredients come out of the Asian beauty markets. So Essence is one of them. And although the past few years we have seen some essence uh, for the face, we've never seen an essence for the body. So this is a very fresh and light moisturizing body essence. And essence is kind of like in between a, 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 a hydrating water and a moisturizer. So you do apply it to your skin once you come out of the shower, um, but it sinks in right away to the skin. So the essence works deeper in the skin than a moisturizer that works on the surface. So it leaves you not feeling sticky. Um, so if you really want something super light in the summertime, then this would be a great product for that. If you do want more hydration, then layer this underneath a body cream so that you're getting the, the best hydration on all levels of your skin. If we look at the formula, it contains a trademark technology called VM Sera. And this is made with ingredients um, like ceramides that help to prevent premature aging. Uh, they help to strengthen the, um, the, the fat molecules and collagen in your skin. Uh, we also have water from the Onsen Suite. And this is Japanese hot spring water. And it's actually quite interesting. I encourage you to do some research about this. And Japanese hot spring water is said to really have many anti-inflammatory properties to them. So it really helps to soothe and soften the skin. So again, in the summertime, if you're someone who sits outside, um, spends a lot of time in the sun, you might have sunburns, you might want to you know, just calm your skin down a little bit. Because of that, um, the onsen sui in here, that would probably really help to, to calm um, any, um, any heated skin. Okay. Any questions on the essence? This is definitely a product that I encourage you to talk about and promote. Um, simply because it is something that we don't even see on the market. So it will really grab attention. And all the customers who have um, this one, the Essence, yeah. Um, all the customers who have been on this training, when I asked them like which products stuck out to them, this was one that they all said. Sam? Yeah, yeah the Essence. Yes. Does it really smell like roses? Um, it has a, a light rose scent. Okay. Yeah, a light rose scent. Um, so if you really dislike the scent of rose, then maybe it might be a little problematic. Um, but because it is a very light texture and just sinks into the skin, especially if you're layering other things on top of it, um, it shouldn't really be a, a problem. Um, yeah, so in the summer, I mean, of course, we are coming out with our aloes, so that would be ideal for sunburns, of course. Um, but the fact that this does have those anti-inflammatory properties to it, and that can be just an added, an added advantage or an added benefit that you can uh, bring up with customers. Okay. Um, so part of the same collection, we also do have two soap bars. So these are for those customers who prefer the format of a bar. Um, it is a great plant-based way of removing impurities and toxins without over drying the skin. You also do have the added therapeutic benefits in here. So Korean bamboo charcoal is definitely more of a detox to the skin. And then we have the pink Himalayan salt, which is more for relaxation. So that is our body care line, our new launches. Now moving on to fragrance. 
In campaign 15, we're coming out with Kate by Fruits and Passion. Um, so some customers might already be familiar with this scent. Um, because it, it is already sold at Fruits and Passion, so if they do have a store near them, they might have um, they might have already smelt it. And just a side note, this has actually been the number one selling fragrance at Fruits and Passion. Um, so I think you know that just shows that it is a really well balanced, um, universal type of scent um, that will do really well at Avon as well. So Kate has warm notes with fruity and woody accents. It also does have subtle hints of jasmine and musk. So it really does capture a confident woman um, and also has some mystery to it. If we look at the notes, um, we have top notes like watermelon and fresh ginger. Now top notes are what you originally smell so after you spray a perfume on and you wait a few minutes, that's when you get the top notes. And once the top notes, notes start to wear out, that's when the, the mid notes and the base notes start to come through. So the middle notes are usually more floral. Um, they usually help to just balance the fragrance. Not, you won't necessarily be able to, to pick them out. Um, it really depends on how familiar you are with the scents. So middle notes here, we have jasmine and peony. And then base notes, these are usually heavier, more woody notes. So here we have sandalwood and musk. And on their own, they're not usually pleasant, but when covered up with those top notes and middle notes, it really does help to, um, to just kind of hold the, the fragrance together and again, make it more well-balanced. Okay, who's excited about the new kids line? Do we have any moms in here? Any grandmothers or aunts? Anyone with young kids in the family? No one? Okay. So this is definitely an area too where there is a lot of room um, for promotion, to get creative with this. And even if you do some type of like bring, um, you know, bring your kids on the live, if you do a Facebook live and you invite the kids to come on, the kids are going to get excited about this. And if any of you are parents, you probably know, you know, how, how easy it is for, for your kids to, to talk you into purchasing something. <laughs> Especially if it's something that's also benefiting them, you can't really go wrong. Yeah, tons of ideas. So the first one is the Ping Fong Pumping Toothpaste. And if you're not familiar with Ping Fong, um, Ping Fong comes from an educational brand from South Korea. And they are huge on YouTube. They have more than uh, 31 million subscribers and 5 billion views on their one song called Baby Shark Alone. Um, Baby Shark, if you're familiar with it, you know how addictive it is. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I don't suggest you go and listen to it because it will stick in your head. <laughs> um, but children are definitely very excited about this. So this is making personal care fun for the kids, but also practical for the adults. So it does come in a pump, so it is mess-free. So super practical if you know, you're, you're trying to brush your, your child's teeth and you, know, you have one hand on them trying to calm them down and the other hand you can use to, for the pump. Or what this is really made for is to try to encourage your, your child to become more independent, right? So you want to encourage them to use it um, on their own. Definitely more easy than fuss, fussing around with um, a tube and a cap. So it is fluoride free. So it's safe for kids under the age of five. Now, when a child is starting to learn how to brush their teeth, um, one of the, the main things they do is suck on their toothbrush and swallow their toothpaste. So this formula is like a gel texture, um, but it also is a little more thick. 
So it, it is made to encourage your child not to swallow it and to actually brush. So it does foam in the mouth a little bit to encourage that brushing. But again, if they happen to swallow it, perfectly safe, nothing wrong with that. Once you add water, wash everything out, there's no residue in the mouth, no residue on the brush. And in one bottle, there's as much product as two tubes of toothpaste. So you're getting two products in one here. So this is strawberry flavor, um, but benefits to it is it does help to remove that plaque. It does help to remove bad breath. Um, now, like we said, it is um, free um, of fluoride, and it is made with calcium lactate and xylitol. And these are kid-safe alternatives um, to fluoride. Any questions on this product? These will be word of mouth products. Once someone mentions, did you know Avon carries, it will start a big organic chain of conversation. For sure. Definitely agree. Um, so continuing in our kids line, we have two um, new Babyance kids products. We have the hair and body wash and the body lotion. So the two in one hair and body wash is of course to use in the bath. It is made with ingredients like shea butter and olive oil to really nourish the skin, um, but it still does give you that foaming bath time um, experience. It is dermatologically tested and made with no sulfates and dyes. So again, trying to give you more out of the products, better quality, um, so you don't need to worry about um, your, your kids using products that are made with um, potentially irritating ingredients. Then the body lotion, this is to use after the shower, also made with shea butter and olive oil to continue that, that nourishment. Um, it is free of parabens and also dermatologically tested. And again, they are made in a pump, just like the toothpaste, to try to encourage the children to be um, independent on their own, but also makes it easier if you're trying to manage them and um, get the product at the same time. And last in this collection, we have the Ping Fong Baby Wipes. So these are very gentle and safe, and they are free of alcohol and parabens and perfume. So even the most sensitive uh, baby, baby skin um, could use this product. It does help to balance that pH level of their natural skin, and it's made with 98% pure water. In one pack, you have 70 wipes and it is resealable. So great to throw in a bag, keep in the car for any uh, you know, messes that, that could come up. Any questions on the kids line? All right, moving our way to the makeup launch in campaign 16. Uh, we have our Love It First Lash Waterproof Mascara. Any Love It First Lash lovers in here? Love It First Lash fans? Me. So what we've done, yeah, <laughs> Jen and Jody. Um, what we've done is taken, whoops, we've taken our traditional Love It First Lash Mascara. We've taken our wa um, Wash Off Waterproof Mascara, which are two best sellers, and we've combined them into one amazing formula. So this will really help to coat your lashes, um, but of course give them that waterproof protection. So you don't have that transfer during the day if you get sweaty, if you're in the water, you get stuck in the rain. And the formula contains three different fibers. So they help to adhere to your lashes, um, the heart, flower, and 3D. And these give you different types of uh, benefits. So it's not, usually when you pick a mascara, you pick whether you want volume, length, um, separation. This is everything in one. So it gives you that, you know, that perfected um, type of look. Um, Dirty says, did you ladies know that love is the ingredients on this 
line. <laughs> that is true. Um, so it also contains lash res, and this is for the improved waterproofing abilities. So this is a technology that is made with uh, vitamin E and olive oil to really help to condition your lashes. Um, actually, Jody, I'm not sure um, if, if that stands for the waterproof formula as well. For the traditional one, it does. We're still waiting to hear back actually from our product team if that also stands for the uh, waterproof one. I think there might be some differences. Um, but definitely for the traditional one, it does. You are correct. So this mascara has a cobra brush, so it really curves around your lashes and really giving you the most amount of volume and length from root to tip. It will stay in place all day, really helps to hydrate and nourish your lash. So often mascaras, when you take them off at the end of the day, some lashes come off as well um, because the, the formula is a little bit strong. This one does help to protect them. It also is clump free flake-free, and smudge-proof. So definitely a summer must-have. Then moving on to our other makeup launches in Campaign 16, we have some new cushions. So these are different than the cushions that we currently carry. These are hybrid products. So your skin feels great um, because you're getting those skincare benefits, while it also looks nice because you're getting that natural flush of color. So some ingredients that we have in here are the hyaluronic acid and the botanical extracts. So again, that hybrid product, the combination between makeup and skincare to get the most out of your products. So they are cushions, so they do come with a sponge applicator. And we can see on the next page, um, the coverage for these. So they, cushions always have a very sheer coverage, but you can also build it up. Um, so these are all oil-free. They are water-based. So they give you that really water, like watercolor-like flush of color that again, if you want more pigmentation, you could build it up. Um, I know cushions can often appear scary um, in, um, in pictures because they look very pigmented, but they don't come out that way on the skin. So the blush is very dewy as a finish. So again, that water color, that plumpness effect. The highlighter is more luminous that you would put in areas like the top of your cheekbones, the top of your cupid's bow, the bridge of your nose, any areas where light would naturally hit. Um, and then the, the blush is available in four shades and the highlighter in two shades. And major benefits here, again, are the ingredients. The fact that we have hyaluronic acid to help hydrate your skin, help your skin not only uh, absorb more, more water, but also retain it longer. So if someone has dry skin, this could be an amazing alternative to use than a, a powder blush that can sometimes stick to dry patches. But also if you have oily skin, then the fact that it is water-based and not oil-based also can help um, to hydrate your skin without producing more oil on the surface. So it really can appeal to different skin types. And then we also have those botanical extracts like water lily and green tea, which are all non-GMO, so they're non-genetically uh, modified. And these are great at not only moisturizing, but also help to protect against environmental damage. And Jody says, cushion was a great game changer for me. I use the cushion foundation much easier to use and blend. Yeah, especially for those with more like normal to dry skin, they really often love using a cushion. Typically people with oily skin do not like cushions because they just create like an oil mat, an oily slippery mess on the surface. But because these are water-based, that will not happen. So a good thing to keep in mind there for customers when they're choosing makeup. So here we can see the different shades. These are all the blushes. And remember that they are more of a sheer finish. And then the highlight. 
So one is more um, pink toned and one is more champagne toned. So it just depends what type of look you're going for. Um, typically those with deeper skin tones will prefer the, the rose gold, um, where the, those with more um, light, light um, undertones would prefer the champagne, but really it's a, more of a personal preference. And in the same collection, we also have the bronzers. So these are a little bit larger. They can be used on both the face and on the body and really to give you that sun-kissed effect. So whether it's in the summer um, or in the winter when you wanna look more, um, more healthy, more luminous, you can use the bronzer. Um, usually you just apply it on your temples um, in that, that hollow area of your cheek. If you like suck your, your lips in, create a fish face, that area that's hollow, um, kind of going from the top of your ear to the side of your mouth, that's where you would put a bronzer and then blending it underneath your jawline. So you're kind of creating that number three on the side of your face. And just like the blush and the highlight, these are packed with those skincare benefits um, to hydrate and to protect from environmental damage. Any questions on these? So our last line today is Gentology for Men. Now, if any of you live with a man or know men who are always using your skincare products, then this is a line to introduce to them. Or if you know a man who you want to get into skincare. These products are designed specifically for, for men. And male skin is different in anatomy than female skin. Um, so it is important that they are using products that are, are best suited and effective for, for their skin types. And of course, we've considered, you know, what men look for in their beauty products. So the, the top things are products that are effortless, that are efficient, and that are simple, right? They don't want to spend too much time. Uh, they don't want to use too many products. So we've really created multi-purpose products for them. So the first one is this two-in-one hair and body wash. Um, so this is, of course, to use in the shower. It is great at getting rid of any unpleasant scents, deodorizing the body, and that's due to the lemongrass. And then we also have eucalyptus, which helps to energize and soothe the skin and the hair. It, both products are paraben-free and dermatologically tested. Yeah. Yeah, this packaging will definitely help to, to draw in that male customer as well. So think about that. When you're posting about these products, you're not only posting for women to get them for men, but also think about posting them for men specifically. So using more um, you know, man-oriented hashtags um, could also help to, to get their attention. And then secondly, we have the Urban Aloe Total Care Moisturizer. So this is an all-in-one. So it's for the face, it's for the body, it tones the skin, so balances the pH level, moisturizes, so brings in those essential oils and water, and it is also an essence. So it does work different layers of the skin. So because of ingredients like niacinamides, which is a form of vitamin B3, it helps to really brighten and has that anti-wrinkle care. We also do have aloe for calming the skin and different uh, herbal extracts that have added benefits as well. And that is our Gentology line. So two simple, easy to use, effective products that are a great start to, uh, to start building up your, um, your, man, your man's uh, skincare routine whether it's your son, um, a boyfriend, a husband, a brother, introduce it to them. Any questions? No? And that is it, everyone. So thank you for joining. Um, and then
typically after thanking everyone, I would just bring up Hello Sunshine, mention that it has started, and that of course they can speak with their representative to learn more. So again, um, especially for those who have done the, the representative product training, you can see that there is a difference. Okay, it's about um, 30 to 40 minutes shorter. There's a lot of less detail. We don't reference um, you know, any selling techniques, um, but we give enough product information. So I hope you can see how I introduce those features and advantages and benefits in a way that will speak to the customer. And that's what you want to think of, right? Letting them know the, the, the fab technique, but in a way that comes across as natural, and of course, in a way that, that speaks to them. Whether it's a Facebook post and you're creating it for, you know, for public awareness, or you're speaking to a specific customer, you really want to listen to what they're telling you and then relate the fab to them specifically. I hope you found that helpful. Um, oh, Jody says, reminder to grab the fast facts when creating any communication. Thank you for adding that. Yeah. Um, so we do have the next product training launching in a few weeks. Um, so I think when that launches, I will try to do more for customers again, and we'll see if we could bring it up. Um, I know some of you were also asking for the brow training for customers. Um, so we'll see um, what we can do and if we can try to get the ball rolling more for some customers to join. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, and sales meetings. Thank you for mentioning, Jody. Next week, uh, we're doing a sales meeting on Tuesday night and then on Thursday morning. So pick your time and come and join us. All right, everyone. Um, I will not be sending you any slides or anything for this. Um, so there's no follow-up or there's no knowledge check or anything because it was for customers. Um, but if you have not done the full one for, for representatives, I do still suggest it. There's a lot more information in there. Okay. Any questions or comments? 